Hey there, it's Trish, and I'm coming back at you with another video about Purple Martins. Uh, the last two videos I did were about housing, and the reason that I chose to do those first is because um, if you are thinking about doing Purple Martins this year, you need to go ahead and get your house up. And so I checked the um, Purple Martin watch this morning. They have been spotted in northern Louisiana. So they are on the way. They're coming. So you need to get those houses up. But now I want to go back and just give a little bit more generic or general information. Uh, this is more along the lines of like uh, just characteristics of Purple Martins. This is good science stuff for a science, um, you know, lesson for homeschoolers or virtual schoolers. And so this is going to give you some information about Purple Martins. So the first thing I want to talk about is what they look like. You would think that in the word Purple Martin, that would indicate that they are purple, right? Well, they sort of are and they sort of aren't. So there are three kind of stages of development for a Purple Martin. The first stage is when they're babies. So last year, uh, I had in my backyard like 200 babies. When they hatch, you cannot tell if they are male or female. They're usually kind of speckled and poofy and small and they are all look the same. They have yellow still on their beaks and you can't tell if they're male or female. But then they leave and they go down to Brazil and they hang out there in the winter and now they're on their way back. So the ones that are coming back for their second summer are the juveniles. And the juveniles have grown, they've gotten a little bigger, and they're a little bit, they're starting to kind of fill out their feathers. So in nature, typically, the female is always going to be a little duller looking than the male. And that's true with the Purple Martins. So the male, by the time he comes back his second summer, he's got more purple on his back. And his chest is going to be gray and white, kind of speckled. Um, the female... She will have purple on her back, but it will be a duller looking purple. But then her chest is going to be brown and white speckled. Typically in their juvenile year, there's a little more white than there is speckle. So they will live here this summer and then they will go back to Brazil. They will come back next year and they will be full adults. And the full adult male is the only one that will be a solid purple. Now, when I say purple, he's actually not purple. His feathers are blackish gray, but in the sun, the purple, the feathers are iridescent and they reflect purple. And that's why they're called purple martins. And so the male is the only one that is fully um, purple. The female, she will not have any purple on her chest or, or under her tail, but she will be purple on the back. She may have a little purple around her neck and then she will be a more grayish speckled on her front. So that's just information. You don't really have to know that to be a good landlord. The birds seem to figure it out themselves. So, but if you want to really be able to tell, you can get yourself a pair of binoculars and you can see um, their tails are even a better indicator whether they're male or female. Um, I'm going to put in the link down below uh, a link to some pictures. I tried to kind of do it with a video, but it just, you can't really see it very well. So you, if you really want to see what they look like, I'm going to put the video link below and you can go to the um, Purple Martin Association website yourself and take a look. The second thing I wanted to talk about was what they eat. So you might have heard that if you have purple martins that you'll never have mosquitoes at your house because martins eat insects and they eat mosquitoes. Well, I wish that were true. They don't eat down where the humans are though. So if there's a mosquito right next to you, it's going to bite you because the martins are not going to fly down and eat that mosquito that's right next to you. They fly high and they eat in the air. And so if the insects are up high, then they will eat them, but not down like where you are sitting, you know, by your pool or whatever. So they eat, mos they eat mosquitoes, they eat dragonflies, they eat grasshoppers, they eat all the flying insects. They eat up to 40 pounds of insects per bird. So they are a huge part of the food chain when it comes to, you know, insect control and things like that. Um, 
The other thing that they do is they drink on the fly. So they don't come down to like bird baths or fountains or anything like that. They want to swoop down and they get a mouthful of water and then they fly away. So if you happen to live near a body of water, that is to your favor in getting them to stop at your house and set up a colony because they need to be near water. The third thing I wanted to talk to you about was what they sound like. Purple Martins are songbirds. They chatter and chatter and chatter. And so um, their morning song wakes you up. It's just, I love it. I love it. But then their mating, the mating call for the males is very um, unique. And that's what you will hear first when the Martins start arriving, it's the males that arrive first and you'll start to hear them calling for females. And so I have a little video of it here. So listen to this little um, string. You'll hear, it's like a clicking sound. It's like a clicking, like a little croaking clicking sound. And that is the Martin, the male Martin calling for a female. So see if you can hear this. You hear that clicking sound? Well, that is the male Martin calling for a female because the the males are here and they find these houses and they're hoping that the female will come and pick them and that they can move into this house together. So if you want to hear it better, I'll put the link down below. The um, Purple Martin Association has it on their website. So those are just the three things I wanted to talk about real quick. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to get purple, how to attract purple martins once you have your house up and, and what they look for. So um, that's it for now, and I will see you next time.